This is a new data system that is going to be installed with all the drivers over the coming weeks. The system itself comes in three parts. The first part is the suction unit, the second part is the mains adapter, and the third part is the screen itself. So the, main, the mains adapter slots onto the window suction, as you can see there. We then place the screen onto the front, and that locks in place there. Cool. To operate the system, it's important that you first of all turn your radio on. The second part is there is a power button to the left of the unit, which you press there. As you can see, it brings the message up. Along the top of this, the screen is uh, the card swipe. What we're waiting for now is the two red indicator lights to go green, and also to follow the commands that are on the screen, which you will see shortly. There we are. As you can see, you just Click the button there to start initialize the system. As you can see, the lights are starting to come on. We've got one green, we wait for the other one to come on now. Right, as you can now see, the two green lights have come on. This can take up to 30 seconds to come on, so just be aware of that. This now provides the link through the radio to the office and also to the GPRS system as well. I'm now going to show you, uh, this is the main menu, and I'm going to show you now how to turn your system on. So you would go into the command mode, and locate the start, press the green arrow to send the command, and now as you can see we've got a, a plot of number 5. But on top of that, as you can see the message above, it says meet and not initialize. What you would do is press on meet and not initialize, press the green arrow to send the command, and our meter is up and running. Right, this is the main meter screen, which you can see in the middle. You will see tariff 1 to the left here, our normal tariff. In the right hand corner is the mileage indicator. Underneath that is the extras. And the large display is the actual total fare. After midnight, or all day, or all day Sunday, the tariff 1 will change to tariff 3 and the meter will start on £3 instead of £2. This will be automatically added in the extras. In the case of mileage accounts, the meter must be put on, but the mileage indicator will automatically send the mileage back. You should log this mileage for your own accounts. Right, I'm now going to show you how to initialize the meter. When I do this, you will see that the screen will show me as, a, as being busy on my job. So here we go. So to start the meter, you just press the green button, you saw that I've got £2 and I'm now busy going to the M5 South. If I want to stop the job, what I need to do is press the pause there and press the orange button. And that fare has, has finished, that job has finished. And again, it shows me straight away what, what my job status is. Right, I'm now going to show you what you need to do if you need to add a bank holiday on. So, same process as we just tried. So, we're going to press the green button to start the meter. Okay, but what I'm going to do then is click on the meter, which brings the pause button up. I'm going to pause the screen, and as you can see there's a plus button there. If you press, press the plus button, I'm going to imagine that we're adding a pound for the bank holiday. One, zero, zero, and press the green tick, and as you can see we've got three pound on the meter. Now what you will notice at the moment is in stop mode, in the, as in the top left hand corner, so to release the job, and to carry on with the fare, you need to press the triangle button there, and as you can see, it's changed to hired. Um, once you've done the job, and you want to clear the job, again, the same process, you press pause, and then press the orange button, and you are again clear. Right, we've gone through the meter, but now I'm going to show you how to uh, work the zones as well. So to go to the zones, we're going to press the flag button there, and this will give you all the different areas. Now as you can see, whereas we'd normally add 77 zones, we've got a few more added. So we've got, as you can see, M4, M25, West Wales, even as far as East Anglia. What I'd like to point out to you though, as you can see along this screen, you've got the particular area. Similar to the previous uh, system, we've got the number of cars in an area, the jobs. But instead of 15 and 30 minutes, we've now got 30 and 60. So what you will find, the 30 minute will now incorporate the 15 minute zone as well. 
Right, if you want to do a, an inquiry on a particular job, you need to press a magnifying glass uh, symbol with the flag. So I, in this case, I'm going to hi highlight a lakeside by moving my cursor up there. Then press the button itself. It's already worked the plot out for you at 62. I just need to check it's for me. Press the green arrow. And as you can see, that job's going to come to me in 11 minutes for 11.30 pickup. While I'm on this screen, I'm going to show you what all these icons do. So the first one here, the envelope sim symbol, that shows all your messages. To go back, you press the back arrow. The next button is your bid screen. Again, to go back, the arrow. Your next button is your current status. If I click on that, that's my status. To go back, just press the screen. Fourth button, as we've already talked about, is the bit is the whether you can do the job in that particular area. The final button, which is a, a new button, this is to cancel requests. What this is for is if you've requested voice and then your fare has come out, then you can actually cancel the request for the voice to come back to you. Right, this this screen now shows you what a typical job would look like. As you can see, this is the pickup. If you want to go to the destination, you just press that screen there. So I'm going to go back to pickup. If you wanted the directions to the pickup, you can just press this symbol here, which will activate the sat nav and give you directions to the house. If you go into the destination, you change the, the mode to destination and press the house symbol again, and again it will give you the sat nav to the house, providing there is an address to go to. If I go back to pickup, you've also got a symbol here, which is ring back. By pressing this, and pressing ring back, you're automatically ringing the customer. One. Right, so we've talked about the job and the sat nav. Just to point out to you, as you can see now, I'm number two after clearing my job. I'm now going to go back to the main menu. Now to achieve this, you need to press the house symbol button there. And there we have the main menu. Right, we're now on the main menu. As you can see, my status has not changed. I'm now going to go into commands and show you some of the features there. As previously mentioned, we've got Zone Inquiry, so you can do it from this menu as well. And if I scroll down, we've got Advanced Booking here, which is a very useful tool. Um, by this, you could, you've got a dedicated line through to the office, which would be much quicker than going through Voice, to book a return journey for a customer. One. Okay, to action any of the commands, you need to press the green forward arrow there yeah we're not going to do that now because most of these are self-explanatory so I'm going to go back to the menu by pressing the back arrow and we're back on the menu now I'm going to speak a little bit about flights this is something brand new and which will help you considerably so I'm going to press the flights button and as you can see on the screen there's various airports now what we have on this screen if you just give me a second for this message to disappear for example, I can go to Cardiff Airport, press the green button, and if you wait for a few seconds, this will actually give you the arrival times of flights from ver various airports. And as you can see, Cardiff Airport for this morning, it's got that many flights. Right, I'm going to point out some of these other buttons to you now. The Jobs button here will give you a history of all the jobs you've done in, in the last two or three days. But I'm going to centre my attention on the Settings button. Now, by pressing this, and going into themes, I can enlarge or make small the font size by doing pressing this button here. And you can press plus or minus to increase the size. As you can see, it's decreasing that way and increasing that way. When you're happy with what you think is the right font size, just press the left hand corner there and that will set your font to that size. Next to the font size is a color button. By pressing that button, you can change your screen setting from day to night. Right, another interesting feature on here which is if you press the meter itself, it'll send you back to the, the big screen, and then you press the left hand button, and this will give you a total of how many miles you've done today, and the jobs and the fares you've taken. If you press the same button again, you've got the option of resetting the totals for a new day. So on this case, I'm going to do that, and as you can see, zero one right from the main menu I'm now going to show you how to sign up off at the end of the day so what we would do is 
press the command button and scroll down until you find finish highlight the finish press the green button and you're now booked out but that's not the end of it you need to go out of that screen press the home button again press exit press the green tick and that shuts down the system right that's this the system shut down you then need to power down your radio right and now it's just taking the system out itself what I do as a matter of security is remove the whole thing completely so we're going to take the cable out there and detach it there although these are of no value to anyone um, you will still have people who will try to pinch them so in my opinion it's best that you take the whole system out